What's up guys, Jay Martin here. Hope you're having a great day. Wherever you're hearing this from, whichever part of the world, let me know down in the comments. I'd always love to know. But a little fun topic today, and it's about the four motivations of life. This has been sitting on my head for a while now, and I sure as hell know which one I am, so you must know what motivates you, and having a clear thought on what does can help you propel you further to what you really want. Because even if you're working hard, if you don't know what's motivating you, you'll eventually think, why am I even doing this, right? So there's basically four things that motivate people, and believe it or not, they're not all money related. People do not like to admit this, but I don't really see the problem with saying what motivates you, right? I don't know, maybe it's a culture thing, like a taboo topic to some people, maybe it's just how they were raised, but regardless. So there's four drivers. This is based on a lot of scientists, pretty much people much smarter than me. Not that I'm even remotely smart, I like to think I'm always learning, but four basic human drivers. Some people can argue that there's three to six of them, but uh, this little exercise here, if you want to call it that, is a pretty decent way to think about motivation. So the four M's. You might want to write this down and you must know which one you are. I'll tell you after I discuss with you which one is mine in a bit. So number one, the first M is money slash materialistic things. So the money is only about 25% of most human motivation. It's not particularly the money, but it's what the money can do for you. So it's the material stuff that comes with money, and it's the facilitation to do things with it. So the first out of the four M's is money slash materialistic things. The second M is mating slash love. This doesn't particularly mean love with your significant other. This can also come in the form of love socially with all your friends and things like that. Being loved or liked by everyone. Number three is movement slash freedom. Okay. Some people are more motivated by freedom, freedom from things, freedom from staying in one place, freedom from certain laws freedom from certain people. Maybe they don't like something, then they just go, all right, well, I've got my freedom, so I'm off. I don't care. I don't need it. I don't need to deal with it. That's sort of deep in our psyche. When we're kids, sometimes we're told something and then we just do the opposite. That's deep in our DNA. So the third M, movement slash freedom. The fourth thing is mastery slash status. Some people want to be the man or be that girl, right? The first to do, world class at this. Things that are associated with you and your existence. So it's acknowledgement, being in the spotlight, if you will. So that's the four M's and here's a little survey or a few questions to really figure out which one you are. Nothing wrong with these four M's, by the way, as long as they stay in balance and most importantly, the intent behind them, right? So it's okay to be motivated by money and being sort of like a capitalist. If your intent is pure, you do what you can to provide jobs and services to other people. That's what a business is. So as long as the intent is pure in all of these and it's treated fairly and it's for a good cause, why not? So here's a quick test. Hopefully you've written down or at least visualized the four M's and now we can get into your biggest motivator because most people have a little bit of all four of these. So this is where we find the number one thing for you. Now for me, and this is just an experience that happened pretty recently, but if you guys don't know, I'm in the e-commerce business, right? I make money online selling different products. I've had a lot of different online stores. One of my businesses, my primary source of income, had to shut down. And that business took up most of my time managing it. And, you know, when it had to shut down, I was like, all right, didn't hurt me one bit. Like, it didn't really matter. Of course, it was a pain in the butt. But when I look at my four M's, motivation number one isn't the top of my motivation. I can always find another way. Luckily for me, I don't buy dumb stuff. I have a pretty cheap lifestyle. But what motivates me, by the way, is the third one. It's my strongest, and that's freedom. Freedom to me is liberating. That's just what I like. And just like everyone, I have a little bit of all of the M's, but I like freedom the most. 
So when that happened, I was like, well, J. Martin, now you can focus on something you're passionate about. And now I'm free to have more time trying new things. And well, now it's time to try new things. And off I go. Now I'm just trying to try a bunch of stuff out. And since we're not taught in school what motivates us, we're made to feel remorse or guilty. We often can't drive ourselves out of ruts when we feel stuck to get on the other side. Does that make sense? So my main drive is motivation number three. And just one more example, Robin Williams, if you guys know him. Everybody loves him, right? He made people laugh. He made people smile. So it seemed like he had the motivation for number four and maybe number two. He wanted to be a comedian. He became world class at it. He wanted to have his own TV show. He did. He wanted to be known all over the world. He did. He wanted to make movies. He did. He wanted to win an Academy Award for not being something he was known for. He was known for being funny, but he wanted to win an award from something else and he did it. He won an award for being dramatic. He wanted a family, he did it. He achieved everything and he hung himself. Why? He didn't find what made him really happy and motivated. He was doing things for other people, but whom? Himself. So may he rest in peace. He's touched a lot of people. He without a doubt impacted the world, but you should know what motivates you and you shouldn't care about what society says that you shouldn't be motivated by. So here's a quiz or a little test that I brought up a minute ago. So I think I mentioned it earlier. I, I actually forgot like a minute ago, but here's a little test and we'll do a little quiz to figure out which of the four M's is your strongest motivator. Strongest motivator. If you had the choice to be the richest man in the world, but you had to live in a small apartment all alone for 10 years, yes or no? So you have to be alone for 10 years, no friends, no relationships, and then you can come outside as the richest man or woman on planet Earth. Would you do it? The next decade with no real interaction, no physical contact, but after that, you have all the money. If you thought, yes, you'll take the money and say, I'm willing to date or have any friends after 10 years, then I'll bet you, your biggest motivator is the first one. If you thought no, then you're probably more motivated for mating, romance, love, or social. Okay, so that's how you pick between the first two. All right, so the first question is done, which would have determined the first two motivators, the first two M's. Now for the last two, we've got the last two M's here, and this is also the last question. You've got movement and freedom and mastery and status. Okay, which would you rather have? You can either travel the world freely, just go wherever, whenever you want, and just have enough money to do whatever, but not a whole lot. But nobody also knows who you are. Nobody really knows you for anything. Nobody really admires you. No one aspires to be like you. Nobody cares. No one looks up to you, right? You tell people, hey, I get to travel everywhere, but nobody listens to you. You just go alone. But you know yourself and you got a small group of three to five friends and that's it. You just enjoy your life wandering around. That's the first option. Or you can't leave your city for the next 10 years you got to stay in one place, one place where you sleep and wake up every day. But you are the man. You are the woman. You broke the chain in your family. And you have a book that's so amazing, whatever, right? Like New York Times bestseller. You're the first to do something. You're world class at whatever you want to be known for. You've got 20 million followers on social media. You go to a club and you don't need to wait in line. The doors just open for you, you know, paparazzi almost everywhere you go. You're loved, you're well known, but you can't travel around the world at all. So that's the second option. So I'll just repeat again. You can either travel but be a nobody or be famous and not be able to travel. 
which one of those two would you pick? If you want to travel and be a nobody, then status is probably not important to you. The fourth M is not important to you. So if you pick status and fame, then travel and movement isn't important to you. All right, so that's a quiz. So let me know which one you are. I definitely want to know. And be honest. Most people aren't honest about it. So when I was a kid, I always thought mine was the first one. But then when I started earning money on my own, I thought, okay, what am I even going to do with the money, <laughs> right? If I got a nice car because I like sports cars and if I got a decent house, what else would I do if money was my biggest motivator? I wouldn't really know aside maybe giving some of it away to people that need it. So I can't really pursue money my whole life because to me, there's not much meaning in the pursuit of money. It would rather be for a cause and then the byproduct would be money. So the third one for me is my biggest motivator. And I don't know, if I were to pick the second, it would be a split of number two and number four. Number two, because love and romance is where the most juice of life comes from. And number four is just because I want to make an impact when I leave this earth, right? Number four for me isn't for the wrong reason. I just want to help. That's, that's it. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Let me know what you think. Let me know what your biggest motivators are. I'd always love to know. Subscribe and leave a like for more content because it's free and it'll help me out if you want to see more of these videos. But I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Take care now. Peace and love.